Hi, welcome to Nepi Invest. Welcome to 2021 and my first video of the new year. Now, in the last week, I've done two quick take videos and both those videos focused on companies that were uh, gave us some negative news. So I thought to bring in the new year, I'll do a positive quick take. And so I honed in on a company called Dusk that only IPO'd uh, recently, about two months ago. And they've, in that two months they've been on the market, uh, they've given us two trading updates and positive trading updates at that. So who is Dusk? So they're a specialty retailer in home fragrance products. So they give us candles, diffusers, and essential oils. I can't say I've ever been into one of their stores, but maybe you have been but uh, I've taken a little bit of an interest in this company because they have a really interesting growth profile. I looked at their prospectus, they've been growing over the last few years and it looks like based off these trading updates, that growth profile has continued as a publicly traded company. So let's get into their first trading update. This was uh, released on November 2nd, only a few days after they IPO'd and we can break this uh, trading update into two paragraphs. The first paragraph was uh, focused on their comparing their results, so what they were seeing, um, and comparing that to their prospectus forecast. And they had to upgrade those uh, pr prospectus forecasts of revenue, EBIT, and net profit after tax by between one and $1.6 million. And for instance, uh, net profit after tax had to be increased from 12.5 million to 13.6 million. The second paragraph focused more on the like-for-like like sales and online sales, particularly the growth. And when I see like-for-like like sales growth for a retail company to the tune of 44% growth, I become quite interested in that company. And also online sales were growing 116%. And all this was despite 20 of their Melbourne Metropolitan stores being closed for the entire month of October. So very interesting numbers these, and it actually did get me interested in this company. Then on December 29th, only two short months after the first trading update, they released a second trading update, and this got me really interested. And you can see they've used what they, they've compared the numbers for the first half of the previous corresponding period, financial year 20, and compared those numbers to their guidance for this half year for financial year 21. And you can see significant growth in terms of sales and EBIT. So EBIT is earnings before interest and taxation. And sales has grown from 58.7 to between 90 and 90.5 million. And EBIT's grown from 9.7 million to between 26 and 27 million. This is significant growth no matter what you look at it. And they've also uh, increased their like-for-like like sales growth from 44% to 49%, and online growth has increased from 116% to 120%. So this is quite significant for a company that has a market cap of 124 million. And then there's, there's more to the story. They've also mentioned they have cash on hand at the end of the first half of approximately $33.5 million, which would mean they have an enterprise value of around $90 million. So this is looking like a very good value company for their growth profile. Now let's look at the chart. So when they IPO, the offer price was $2, but they opened up a little bit lower than that, at around about $1.60, $1.70. Ever since then, they've been growing in price. So share price has gone is a bit of an uptrend here, although we only have two months of data to look at. So even though we only have that short amount of uh, you know sample size, we can definitely see a bit of an uptrend developing here. And when they released the most recent update, uh, trading update on December 29th, we definitely saw a bit of a big spike in volume. 2.5 million shares were traded and a definite up gap in the share price getting up to $2. And we've definitely, the de market has definitely taken notice to dusk, uh, just like I have too. So that's all I've got on dusk. Uh, this recent addition to the ASX, only been trading for two months, but they've given 
two positive trading updates in that time. So I'm very interested. And in fact, I've taken a very small position in this company and put it into my momentum sentiment portfolio because it looks like momentum is behind this company, not only in share price, but also in the business growth behind it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I am not a professional advisor, so if you do have any, uh, or if you are in need of any advice for your own financial circumstances, make sure you seek out someone who can speak to your own particular needs. That's all for today. Enjoy the rest of today, rest of the New Year's Day. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.